financial accounting. We've been talking about the accounting equation and dealing with each aspect. And we've talked about assets so far, liabilities, and now it's time to talk about that ownership. We talked about that in a corporation. It's called stockholders' equity. And in sole proprietorships and partnerships, it's called owners' equity. So let's take a look at stockholders' equity first. Ownership in a corporation can be one of two kinds. You can have external ownership, which is called contributed capital. Contributed meaning given, capital meaning money or resources. Now, this is external. The types of accounts that signify that there has been external contribution to the business, thus have made them owners, are accounts called common stock or preferred stock. So that is external ownership, external investors investing in the business. There is also internal ownership, and that internal ownership is called retained earnings. And retained earnings means that it is self-generated by the business. In other words, the company has taken its profits, more on that later, and retained them into the business. Well, you're saying, excuse me, excuse me, if I have external owners here that are stockholders, they deserve a piece of the profits as well. And you're right, and there's an account for that. And you want to know what that is called? It's called dividends. So we have dividends, which says we take the profits and we give them back to our investors, the stockholders, or... The rest of the profits, we do what? We retain them in the business, and that's called retained earnings. Sometimes you'll see it called uh, retained income. So those are the two things. Now, if I deal with sole proprietorships and partnerships, they don't have owners that are investors. Instead, owner's equity for a small business meaning a sole proprietorship, meaning one owner, or a partnership, meaning you have two or more owners. And remember, sole proprietorships and partnerships have unlimited liability. If a sole proprietorship goes under, they can come after not only just the business assets, but the owner's personal assets as well. Same thing with the partnership. Trouble with the partnership is, is if one uh, partner runs up the bills, it's just like a marriage, the other partner has to pay. So that's the, the deal with the unlimited liability. These investors up here who are stockholders have limited liability to the extent of their investment. Now, in owner's equity, how do we know the types of accounts? Well, they have one account. It's called capital. So whatever the owner's name is, capital signifies their ownership in the business. So if I have lots of partners, it's partner number one's name, partner number two's name, partner number three's name, each with capital after their name. So everybody has their own capital account. You're saying, well, do these guys ever get to take out of the business? Sure. They can take out of the business, just like uh, the owners up here took out in dividends, but it's called drawing or withdrawals. So when these owners, sole proprietorship owners or partnership owners, withdraw from the business, they use the account called drawing or withdrawals their ownership in the business capital account.